here we have our car that was exported into RTT Delta Gen using under window our 3DCS import plugin. This needs to be activated within RTT Delta Gen to then have the option that you see on the far right of our 3DCS import. So on import, we have all of our spec studies you see here that were imported directly from 3DCS Multicad. Under camera views, we have all of our pre-associated views that were set up with our spec studies. So looking at the vehicle here, I'll just roll it around real quick. This is a direct import from 3DCS Multicad. If we open up our look library. These are all the materials that were created within 3DCS Multicad that were then automatically converted into an RTT material. So again, this vehicle, as you see it right now, is a direct import. Nothing was done as far as optimizing a shader, building new shaders, or applying new materials. This is a direct import, as long as your material names are the same. So within RTT Delta Gen, again, we see all of our spec studies. I'll go to a view so you guys can really see this close. Can you go over again the, the min-max gap in an ISO view for us? In 3DCS Multicad? Can you show us in 3DCS Multicad and then jump back to Delta Gen and show us the same thing in Delta Gen? Absolutely. So you can get a good view of the vehicle mm -hmm. itself and kind of see the parallels between the two. Okay. This is the, the visualization within 3DCS Multicad. Correct. So again, all of our shaders were built within 3DCS Multicad that then transferred completely over into RTT with the automated material swapping. I can do quick style changes too? Absolutely. Do you have a second style for this one? I do. So we have this set up right now in a mojito green. Or I could switch to a blue and white. And it's easy to export those different styles to Delta Gen as well, isn't it? Yes. So we'll switch back. Can you show the, the min and max gap again on that hood? Sure. So we kind of see the, the outliers of our tolerance, um, our current tolerance conditions. So right now we're in a nominal condition. This is showing our measurement points for our hood defender max gap. So if I double click to activate that spec study, we see, we see that the gap did grow between the hood and the fender. And those two measurements, if we do an analysis, are what we're going to be doing the analysis on. Correct. Good. So switching back to RTT. We can see our nominal geometry. And again, this is all live rendering within RTT. We can see our hood defender gap. See the front of the head or front of the hood winking? And all these spec studies were, again, built in 3DCS Multicad and then directly exported over into RTT. Again, all of your camera views come over directly from 3DCS Multicad into RTT.